I'm not gonna do a long intro because I don't want you guys to drop off. Subscribe if you like this. You're not gonna quit coding today. Not today, not tomorrow, not in the next month. And I'll tell you why. I have been in this industry for 13 years. Trust me when I say that there were countless opportunities for me to quit. But did I quit? No, I'm still here. There's a reason why software engineers make more than 500K if they stay in the industry long enough. I wouldn't be here making that money right now if I quit 10 years ago because one little project in my university class was hard. Software engineering is not easy. You will have to deal with tough projects all the time. So don't quit today. It's worth it. I'll jump straight to the point. Today I got a video recommended from someone who's apparently studying computer science right now and their title was I think I'm gonna quit. And I watched that video thinking I don't want you to quit. Today is not the day for you to quit. I've been in this industry for 13 years. 13. Was it easy? No, of course not. Software engineering is not an easy major. It's not an easy profession. But it's so rewarding when you stay there. And that's how you actually make those super high salaries, like the 500k salaries that you see on blind, it's not gonna happen if you quit today. It's not gonna happen if you quit next week. It's only gonna happen if you stick to this one project that you're doing right now, you get through it, you will learn from it, you will grow from it, and next time it's easier. So don't quit today. I'm also not gonna let you quit today because we're all going through the same stuff. You know, the people next to you, they're also struggling. Do you think they've all figured it out? Mm -mm, none of them have. All of us have been struggling at some point and it takes time until coding actually makes sense to our brains. I started coding when I was 13. I did it not because I wanted to have a great salary or a great career. I did it because I wanted to build a website that was back in, that was back in 2006. So website generators were not really a thing and I just wanted to have my own website. So I started learning how to write web applications. I started learning how to write HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Was it easy? No. Did I give up? No. But I also did it for myself. I did it because I had fun doing it. I was not thinking about, oh, well, make this big salary. I had no idea what people make. I had no idea what software engineering actually is. I just did it because I enjoyed it. And when you're sitting in your class right now or you're sitting in your job, and you're working on this project that just won't make sense to you, this is a prime growth opportunity. If you don't know what to do today with this project, it's probably getting much easier next time you work on a similar project. Remember, first time you rode a bike, you probably fell a couple of times, but you got up again and at some point you learn how to ride a bike. Same with coding. It's not gonna happen if you just work on it for one hour every week. Coding needs consistency. You need to work on your coding skills every single day. I had my first job as a full-time software engineer when I was 16, so I was forced to code every day. In the first couple of weeks, I was really overwhelmed. I did not know how to use this new technology that they were using. I had no idea what the code meant, but I didn't give up. I actually couldn't because I was hired and I didn't want to get fired. But through that moment, like sticking to it, I remember it so clearly. I started at this company in September. And by December, by the time Christmas came around, I suddenly, it suddenly clicked. I was working on one exercise from an O'Reilly book. It was like this, this dog racing game. I don't know, C sharp. In the beginning, I had no idea what this thing was doing, right? I was like, okay, let's just follow the instructions and see what happens. But then at some point I realized, oh, this is how it works. This is how object oriented programming works. And it clicked. I really remember this day, like something just switched in my brain and the switch turned on and it hasn't turned off since then. If you're at this moment where the switch is not on yet, do not give up. Don't give up. The switch will turn on the longer you practice, but it's not going to happen if you just read books all day or if you just listen to lectures or listen to YouTubers. After you watch this video, I don't want you to go and buy a bunch of books or listen to another 10 videos on YouTube that tell you how to not quit. No, I want you to go back to your project, sit down with yourself and say, okay, I'm not going to finish this thing today, but I'm going to make progress. I'm going to learn maybe five lines of code. If it's that, sure, set a little goal, but try to reach that one goal. Okay, I've been, okay, this was a lot. All right, give me a second. Also, life in general is about growth. I don't know if you've read the, what is it called? There's a book called The Mindset and it talks about a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. If you haven't read this book, I highly recommend it. Because if you're not in a growth mindset with your career or with your life, you're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to make 500k a year. 
you're gonna get stuck. You're gonna get stuck with a 50k a year salary, and you're not gonna grow into a higher position ever. Because what a growth mindset actually tells you is yes, you're aware that there's a lot of things you don't know, but you believe that you can grow into those, that you believe that you can learn the skills that other people already know. If you compare this to a fixed mindset, for example, a fixed mindset means, okay, I don't know how Java works. I will never learn this, right? So you just give up, but you're not that. You're not that because you clicked on this video. So you're going to get out there. You're going to apply this mindset, the growth mindset for your life and also for coding, and you're going to crush it. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is enough, enough of a pep talk. <laughs> so till the R, you're not going to quit coding today. It's getting easier at some point, maybe not today, but we all struggled. I certainly struggled with all the new frameworks that I picked up. I certainly struggled when I started being an engineering manager too. I have no idea how people worked. I have no idea what I was going to say in one-on-ones, but you know, you stick with it. And now I think I'm a better manager than I was three years ago. At least I hope so. So you're not going to quit today. Okay. That's the end of the video. Comment on this video. If a pep talk like this helped you, I do this with some people I mentor every now and then when they tell me, oh, I can't do this because I know they can. And I know you can. So if you like this type of video, let me know because then you'll get more of it. <laughs> okay. Bye and subscribe, please. <laughs>